We're here today with George Padron and Padron Cigars, smoking some fine cigars from Nicaragua. Nicaragua and Padron are so intertwined, you can't think of one without the other. Tell us about the tobacco regions of Nicaragua. Uh, if I asked you about Esteli, where your cigars are made, tell me about the tobacco that's grown in Esteli. Nicaragua has three main uh, regions that grow tobacco. You have Esteli, you have the Condega area, and then you have Jalapa. Many years ago, when my father first went to Nicaragua, he started, uh, at the, I think at the beginning, it was mostly in Jalapa where they were growing tobacco. They realized that there, in, within these three regions, there are completely different types of tobaccos that are harvested in each one. And I think that the, the success of Nicaraguan cigars has been that the, Nicaragua offers the, the soil to be able to produce wrapper, binder, filler, everything. So, you know, you can produce cigars in that form. Now, each one is different. Esteli, for example, has soil that is much richer. It's um, volcanic. It, it produces tobacco that's heavier in weight uh, and also, obviously, heavier in flavor, stronger in flavor, more full-bodied. As you go north to Condega, that changes a little bit, and you have tobacco that's sort of an in-between. For me, the tobacco from Condega is usually very sweet. Sweet. Right? Right. Um, and it's a, great, it's a great tobacco to blend. To blend with and then as you go north to Jalapa that's where you get most of the wrapper from mm -hmm. the um, the type of the type of soil in, in Jalapa is more uh, sandy it's uh, looser it's not as you know like the it's more of a clay it's more of a clay in Jalapa and that's what allows you to grow tobacco that's good for wrapper so the so weight of the tobacco is also much less so most of your wrapper comes from Jalapa yeah is Esteli mostly filler for us, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, obviously, we, we get wrapper from wherever we can uh, of the tobacco that we grow. 80, 90% of the wrapper comes from Jalapa. Does every Padron cigar have tobacco from all three of those regions? Pretty much. Pretty much, okay. Yeah. Interesting. I mean, we blend, uh, you know, for us, it's important to have tobacco, different types of tobacco in order to blend. And I think that that's the secret. You, know, you need to have uh, enough inventory and enough diversity of inventory to be able to mix and match uh, different types of tobaccos to produce different flavor profiles. So those three distinct regions are really what make Nicaragua such a powerful tobacco producing country. You have great people in Nicaragua. Uh, you have a lot of people that know a lot about tobacco. Uh, you can have great soil. That doesn't mean that you're going to have great tobacco. Uh, so, I mean, it's a combination of things. You know, you have to be committed to, to producing a quality product. Having great soil is, is certainly in step number one. But you know, you also have to know what you're doing. You have to know how to what you're, you know, how to grow the tobacco. You have to know when to do certain things, and you have to have a commitment to producing a quality product. When it comes to commitment, you've been producing cigars in Nicaragua for decades. Some of the farms that you're working with today are some of those farms ones that you've been working with the entire history of Padron, basically. Absolutely, we still have. We, I mean, we have. Obviously, we own our own farms, but we also have farmers that grow for us. And those farmers have never changed. I mean, as I think for the last 25 years, we've been going with the same people. And, you know, we have great relationships and people that I respect tremendously, hardworking and committed to, to producing quality products. And, you know, it's, it's sort of a relationship where, you know, my dad, my dad was a farmer. And remember, my father was born in Cuba on a farm. So he, he, he was one of those people that understood the farmer. And he realizes that, you know, the farmer, not, you're not always going to get a great crop, but the commitment and the relationship always has to be maintained. And we, you have to understand that some years the tobacco might be better than others, but you still have to honor your commitments. You still have to keep buying, supporting the people, because that's kind of the, how the relationship is built. It is a long-term business. The beauties of Nicaraguan tobacco, a little bit of Condega, Esteli, and Jalapa, and just about every Padron cigar.